Hi everyone, we have a supermodel in the studio today, the beautiful Natasha Polly. Now I saw Natasha last night at the Fashion Awards and she looked incredible. She'd done her own makeup, which she often does for events. I've worked with her many, many times on cover shoots and editorials and she's someone, one of those models that really loves the makeup process and she really loves the products and talking about makeup. So I'm actually doing her makeup today for a Versace event she's going to tonight. And I suggested, why don't we film it so you guys can see how we do her makeup and also it's just nice to hear from people who love makeup. So without further ado, let's get the makeup started. So we're thinking color for the eyes, Natasha, which is exciting. And I'm gonna start by using this palette, which is a Marc Jacobs palette, which is very bright purples and lavenders. And then we're gonna add in some maybe blues and greens and just see see what develops and see mm. what happens. So I'm going to start with put a lid on it. And this is the eye primer. I like this one because it's not at all drying. Thin layer all over. I'm going to start with this minky purple shade here. And I haven't done your base yet, which is sickening because your skin looks amazing. I'm going to clean up skin afterwards. That's easier, that makes it easier if you do like a dark eyes, right? Oh, Not yeah, a lot of colors. So much easier. How are your cats? Yeah, they're good, they're good. Oh, we just got a new one. Oh, did you? Half a year ago. It's the same British short hair, but mm -hmm. they're more stripey ones. Like um, Oh yeah, the tall, like my Betty, you put tortoiseshell one, a bit with a stripe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so beautiful. With the same shade, I'm just building the intensity at the outer corner and winging out. Now I'm going to apply this really strong purple shade, which is a matte colour. I haven't tried this colour before. It's gorgeous. And then blend those edges. I'm actually just going to clean this up now because the mattes in these palettes are a little dustier than the frosty colours and the more pearl colours. So underneath I'm going to use this darker violet, blacky violet first, and then we're going to try this bright purple again. And then I'm going to get you to do your eyeliner, Natasha, because I know you're really good at makeup. <laughs> and you love makeup. I love makeup. And you always do your own makeup when you go out. Yes. When you do the red carpet, you pretty much always do it now yourself? Always. Is that just because like it's to, easier to have your own, like, you don't have to arrange anyone to do it? or? Yeah, I mean, I like to play with makeup and I like to create the looks and I feel like I'm more happier than to, because I, it's in my hands and I'm, yeah, I know yeah, what course. I'm going to, yeah. you know, what to expect. And anyway, luckily I've done your makeup before, so I don't feel, otherwise no, I'd be I think like, it's, oh. a, it's a big difference yeah. when you like, you know, like when you, I mean, obviously we worked so much together before. Yeah. And I know how great you are, and it wouldn't be a problem if you would do my makeup. And I like to play around. It's very, um, it's very therapeutic for me. I mm. like it's like kind of I it's relaxing. Take forever. It's very relaxing. It's like painting. Right, well, I'm going to hand you the eyelash curlers now. So give a good curl. I know you're um, really good at um, curling your eyelashes. I've watched you before. <laughs> She's a pro. Oh yes. And I like to curl them not only like once because that can create like too strong of the line. It's like almost mm. the, the angle. Yeah. If you do it a few times, then it, they're kind of like more Swoops. curls. Yeah. yeah. Try this black pencil. I know you haven't tried this one before. It's Gillian Dempsey. Yeah, I like Who's the waterproof a... too. Yeah, Because that exactly. stays, you know, for the night together. Yeah, for inside the line. Inside the eye, rather. Yeah, I like to put it... Um, between the eyelashes on the top. Mm. Yeah, just fill in, get that depth. I like the way you're just building up slowly. I think people sometimes get worried that, you know, they see lots of people doing makeup and they're putting it on in one swoop and they're like, wow, you know, I'm not good at makeup because I can't do that. Well, personally, if I do my makeup, I always do it bit by bit and build up and keep checking in the mirror and adding a bit more. And I feel like that is actually a better way to yeah, that's do for makeup sure. I because that. you're seeing what you're doing as you're going along and you can always add more exactly it's hard to take it off exactly. once it's on <laughs> without ruining the whole look yeah 
I think that's it. Do you want to just put a little bit on your lower lashes, just to the roots, a little tiny smudge? Just under be, here? Yeah. Personally, I think that just lifts the purple as well. Now I'm going to use the um, Pore Refiner by Bioderma. I'm not going to use this all over, Natasha. I'm just going to use it here and here. And it doesn't matter if you apply only on a few parts of the face, right? Because if you're blending the foundation, it's not going to be like no. diff to change the texture. No, no. Okay. I think as long it's as really it's important. blended out, so you put it mainly there and then smooth it out. Because it's so thin anyway. Mm -hmm. Once it dries, it dries matte. Okay, so let's go on to base and I'm going to use some Makeup Forever foundation. This is slightly warmer than your skin, but you do have a little tan on your body. Yeah, that's and very important to match the face with the body. It's very important, so. In the beginning when I was doing makeup myself, there was been some bad. <laughs> oh really? You did a few white, white <laughs> oh faces my God. and dark Horrible. shoulders. Yeah. As I'm going over there on the foundation, there's no difference between mm -hmm. the bit that has and the bit that hasn't. Yeah, that's really important to find a good primer. But this one feels like more like a special for pores. Than yeah, it's more than a foundation primer. primer. Mm -hmm. But you had good moisturizer on, which I was happy with before. Mm -hmm. You know, before. What did you have on your skin, actually? It was really nice. I recently had a connecting flight in Iceland. Oh, really? And then it crossed in my mind that they, they're so amazing with all the spas and like hot springs. So I'm yes. like, they must be an amazing um, skincare. So I went on a duty free and I just bought everything. So this is what I had in the okay. face this morning. Icelandic skincare. Icelandic skincare. Oh, you're like a proper beauty junkie. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you're like exploring the local beauty brands. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's good. So I'm actually just going to buff over. This is a totally clean brush now, just to really get that foundation in synergy with your skin. So it's really seamless and blended. For your concealer, I'm gonna mix two shades together. I've got a warmer shade and a slightly lighter one. Because I think the combination of these two, because this is one of the long wearing formulas, which set, I'm actually gonna push it into place now I'm just going to set under the eyes with a little bit of powder. Ooh, a bit of extra powder there. And then I'm going to apply some powder just on the centre of your forehead. Okay, Natasha, lots of black mascara now, please. Yes. Get right down to those roots. Yeah, it's always great when it's more on the roots and... Less on the tips. Gorgeous. Oh, you do it so daintily. Nice. <laughs> Relaxing to watch. I usually use like waterproof mascara. This is waterproof. Yeah, because it's more drier. So that's like, oh, I yeah. think it gives like this perfect, um, yeah, it doesn't go down, you know, when you curl your eyelashes. Mm. And if you use like really wet mascara, they, they droop. They go down. Yeah. And like I just spend this whole time <laughs> curling my eyelashes and it's like not working. I agree. Or if it's like a normal mascara, then I like to make it more, like I take the brush out from the tube and make it drier. Mm -hmm. You wait for I a wait little, little bit. bit. That's a good tip. So now I'm just doing a little bit of contouring. This is the Kevin Aquan. 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 <laughs> this is the light palette. So it's not too intense. Mm -hmm. It's more of a soft contour. I'm actually going to blend it in with a little bit of bronzer as well. This is Hula bronzer. Just because it's a slightly greyish undertone, which is good because it looks like a shadow. Mm -hmm. But then we need to warm up that shadow with a touch of bronzer. More natural. And you have amazing <laughs> cheekbones. You don't even need this, really. But we're just emphasizing where you love always. to have it. Yeah. It's like we're emphasizing and just enhancing what you already have. I'm actually just going to use, just buff that edge as well. Sometimes it's good just to buff off the edge as it comes in. Mm -hmm. So for brows, I'm going to use my Suki pen just to draw on some hairs, extra hairs here. Because you have such a good shaped brow, I don't want to overpower them.
and then just a pencil to fill in any gaps and thicken up. So we hadn't powdered on the top of your cheeks, so I'm using this highlighter, cream highlighter. You already have some glow there, natural glow, and I'm just emphasising that with enhancing it really with this creamy highlighter, which is gorgeous, especially when you apply with fingers because the heat of your fingers melts into the skin. And then a touch of blush, not a lot, just a little bit, just a pop of really quite fresh almost apricotty pink. That's nice, it makes you smile. <laughs> Blusher makes everyone smile. So for lips, I'm actually just gonna use a pencil, which is a beigey toned pencil. And use it all over your lips, and then also shape the lips. I think it's nice because it's more matte, and I think we've got quite a lot of sparkle on the eyes, so it's nice to have that. Mm -hmm. slightly less overplayed mouth. Right, I just want to go back in with our purple shade because once you've actually, if you do your eyeshadow before your base and concealer, when you then clean up and then you redo your concealer, you can end up with quite a strange line underneath. Now I'm going to use a iridescent, kind of more holographic lavender glitter. We could actually increase that with a little bit of this iridescent powder just right at the very inner corner and as a finishing touch I'm going to add so some tiny. brow gel I know it's so tiny it's like a little dolls one <laughs> dolls makeup this is boy brow I'm just gonna separate the hairs just at the front this keeps the eyes looking nice and open actually I've Confess, I've changed my mind about that colour that I used, which was the NYX colour, because it created a bluishness at the inner corner, which I didn't like, so I've removed it and I'm just going over with the Kevin highlighter instead, and I think that's much fresher, much, much fresher. But I think that looks really beautiful. I love it's these colours on you. It's gonna be on Makes my eye colour pop. Yeah, your it. eyes look so green. I think that's gonna be such a, great look for tonight yes have so loads Thank of fun so and it's so nice to see you you too stop by next time you're here yes thank you lisa hey lisa how are you um just want to send you this video to show you how my makeup look it still holds up really well thank you so much for making it i'll see you soon